Hi everyone, Yaku from Tutor Touch here, and in this video, I will be going over our ScreenShare Pro application that runs on the Android operating system on our Tutor Touch interactive 4K panels. Now, what this application allows you to do is it allows you to share content wirelessly from any mobile device or a laptop and that will be displayed on the screen. It will also allow you to split the screen up to four depending on the amount of devices you have currently attached. So as you saw there, I clicked on the nine little bu buttons at the bottom there and that takes you to your third party applications or any application that you have installed on the Android system that doesn't come standard with it. And then when you go into the ScreenShare Pro application, click on user guide. This is essentially what you will need to download the app to your mobile device. So if you scan this QR scanner or code, it will download the device to your phone. Once you have the device, make sure that you're on the same Wi-Fi frequency and then it will simply ask you to input the six-digit code. Now this six-digit code is always floating, would it be on the computer side or on the Android side? Alright, so as soon as you input the code onto your application and you say start sharing, that will start sharing your screen to the panel. However, I want to point out a couple of additional features before I showcase the sharing of the screens as well as the splitting of the screens. So currently I have a couple of options on my application, media, photo, camera, remote and desktop. So media is essentially to share any video content or audio content to the panel. Um, photo would be to simply upload a photo of anything you might have taken or a photo you have on your phone to the panel and then you can manipulate this uh, accordingly. You can also just make it go away if you would like to. Then next in line you have camera which is essentially a video feed that you will are able to then send to the panel. So would you be talking about a laptop or anything like that? You can go to a laptop, click the um, stop button and that will take a snap of whatever is on your feed. From there if you click the button again it will go back to your live feed. Alright and then the next one in line uh, would be, sorry I just want to close it, the next is uh, your remote and desktop sync. So remote is essentially a cursor or a mouse pointer for your panel so that will allow you to open up and close certain things but it's limited to what a mouse pointer can do. Then the next one is desktop sync and this essentially makes your phone the desktop and then wherever you click on the panel it will open up accordingly. So if you click on the note program it will open up note for you and then you can actually draw on your phone and that will be displayed on the panel. Alright so I'm just going to close this quickly. Now I'm going to move over to the splitting of the screens and the sharing of the screens. Now before I share my phone to the panel, I just want to showcase the ScreenShare Pro dongle which allows you to share laptop content wirelessly to the panel. So as you can see, I've already inserted this dongle. I'm just going to quickly reinsert the dongle. Um, the light will flicker blue. As soon as it, as it is connected, it will become a solid blue light and then you will be able to share your content to the panel. As you can see everything got installed as in a matter of seconds and as soon as I press the button that will share my content wirelessly to the screen. Now if I then had to add another device, would it be a laptop with another dongle or a mobile device, it will split the screen accordingly. So as you can see I've added my additional device and the screen is now split in two. So if you add any additional devices, the screen will then be split down the middle and image 3 and image 4 will be at the bottom. Now to delete or to take away any image from the screen is as simple as pressing the X button. Let's say someone is sharing content that's not appropriate. You can simply stop the screen share um, with pressing the X button. Thank you so much for watching. Please follow, like and share. My name is Yaku from Tudor Touch.